I'm confrontational. I'm trying not to be. But they brought it out of me. And I can't really go back from that. Judge, 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 and act like y'all been through it all. That's bull. 90 Day Fiance is back and more chaotic than ever after the holidays. Jasmine and Gino are living it up in Miami, and they were having fun and even went salsa dancing. Gino definitely showed off his dancing skills, but later he brought up the topic of having kids in the future. I'd like to try to do it soon. I'm not ready. I have some very personal fears when it comes to having children. I carry a lot of pain inside. Jasmine opened up about how having a child with a disability has caused her to reconsider having another child. I don't know, you know, it scares me to death. I don't know if I... <laughs> It's still a human being, and we're going to take care of him, right? You can't predict it. Exactly. You can't predict it. It scares me, baby. It's my fault. I wrote it. It's not it. your fault. How do you know that? Even doctors cannot tell. Why? It's still a child. You know, there's no difference whether he has a disability or not. That's the way you should look at it. Last episode, Sam confessed to Citra about the extent of his legal issues and that he could be potentially facing jail time. And while she's still upset with him, is she going to stay with him? I'm still upset about it, but I was thinking about our situation, you know? Uh, I've been waiting for two years to get my visa approved and our love is really strong and I mean, I'm gonna be with you. It's like a 2,000 pound weight off my shoulders hearing that she's still gonna stand by me. Later, they met up with Sam's mom, who isn't a fan of him converting his religion for their marriage. I don't believe anybody should have to change their ways or beliefs just to marry somebody. You should love them no matter what, you know? I mean, there's some things you shouldn't maybe marry to, like, I'm gonna be blunt about this, witchcraft. But, you know, again, if I could have it my way, I'm not going to stand here and lie. I would love to see her and her family serving the same God as I do. Absolutely. Manuel met up with one of his longtime friends to talk about how things are going with Ashley, and he admitted that he's a bit homesick. Porque a veces ya me siento acabado yo. Es que ella nunca sufrió necesidades. Es el problema. A paso frustrado, a veces me siento mal. Extraño mucho Ecuador, extraño mucho mi gente, mis amigos, mi familia. Extraño todo de allá, la comida. Y aquí estoy, poniendo los pechos, poniendo el pecho a las balas. Later, the topic of how much money Ashley is sending Manuel's family came up, and he's upset that she's not sending more money, and she's upset that he's asking her to send more. Me preocupo por los demás, tú te preocupas por ti, en cambio. I take a lot of offense to that, and I might cry. Lo siento así, como te dije ayer. Me gusta peleando ahorita con ella porque yo sé que en el futuro no va a haber problemas. ¿Sí me entiendes? Con eso me toca lidiar todos los días. I can't. He just hurt my feelings. I'm not supporting him. He doesn't feel supported by me. All I am doing is supporting him. Nikki is still upset after finding out that Justin was sleeping with other women prior to their engagement. And his suggestion to fix things is a doozy. He thinks that they should both sleep with another woman together. If you invested as much as I did, I think that you would feel something like what I'm feeling right now. I didn't know if we work. I feel like now I am like, some sugar mama to you and then and the sex part you get from the other bitches Babe, that's what i feel like if you want mm -hmm. we can try together try what another girl Excuse and you me? and you will see how it's easy what are you talking about getting another this is just sex 
can have just fun. Just sex? Yes, we can have fun. Nikki is not into the idea at all. And him even bringing up this idea has her questioning their entire relationship. I'm wondering if the reason why he wants to have this threesome is honestly mostly it's just because of my gender, you know, and me not being born biologically female, I feel like I'm not enough. I feel like, why are we even together? Like, why don't you just go be with another woman? Last episode, Annalie got upset at Clayton when he brought up their intimacy issues while out at dinner. And now he's apologizing. I'm sorry, honey. Get it, Dulcina? Me siento bien de que Clayton me haya pedido disculpas, pero lo que dijo realmente fue muy grosero y me siento muy molesta. Me he dado cuenta que, a pesar de que estamos juntos más de dos años y ahora que estamos a punto de casarnos, todavía hay cosas que no entendemos uno del otro y espero que Clayton aprenda rápido. Later, Clayton met up with his bestie Cameron, and he brought up the fact that Annalie still hasn't told her dad about their relationship after being together for a long time, and Cameron is concerned for his friend. I think the, the reason behind all of these things happening is she also has some uncertainty about you. I don't know, man. You're about to get married. I just don't want to see you hurt, man. Clayton ended up confronting Annalie about the situation at dinner, and she got super upset and stormed off and started to cry, which has Clayton questioning what's really going on. I have no idea why Annalie is crying about this. Well, you know, it makes me wonder if there's something else going on. Like, is she in danger? Like, why is she so worried about it that she's crying? Like, she seems scared. Rob and Sophie met up with her mom, and things got tense with a joke gone wrong. I'm not aggressive. I don't think so. Oh, you're pretty aggressive. You're gonna, like you just said, you'll knock my mom to the floor. <laughs> that's pretty aggressive in itself. Oh, she's, she's not aggressive, she's just joking. Right, but that's kind of her mom, her, your mom to my mom, the energy. My yeah, mom is super. My mom's joking. She's not gonna knock your mom to the floor. I know, it's a joke. I know it's a she joke, jokes. but it's yeah, still. Yeah, but you just obviously... more or less called me aggressive. No, oh, it's a. As if I'm going to be at your right. wedding and knock a woman to the floor. My mom's very can... sarcastic and jokey. Like. You guys are taking me literal. I didn't take you literal. No, I think that was low-key a dig. Things didn't get any better from there. Sophie's mom ended up going over to Rob's apartment to see it for the first time, and she was not impressed, which ended up causing Rob to get super upset. Neither of y'all can sit here and tell me no, about she... what I should have done and what I should have, because neither of you guys have ever been at the bottom. If you've never lived on your own and had to do it on your own, then then shut up trying to tell somebody else what they should be doing. You don't know what the hell being at the bottom is unless, and then whenever you have ever been at the bottom, you just make a phone call and you're back up. That's easy enough for you guys, but I don't have that. It makes me feel like fully 